All right, I'm gonna start that video again. <laughs> hey guys, Mackie here from Melee.co and in this video, I wanna talk about currently where I'm at in terms of my tech skill, just so I can monitor that. So where I'm at at the start of August, as well as my goals for August and for this month. So let's start with where I'm at in terms of tech skill. There are four major things that I'm currently working on that I wanna perfect before OHN in September, which is in about six weeks time. There is shield dropping, there is uh, short hopping, there's crouching wave dashes, and there's wave dash out of shield. So let's go ahead and we'll look at them one by one. So with shield dropping, to the left, my controller has a perfect notch where it's right in the center. So to the left, it's basically perfect. So my shield drops are really fast. Uh, I'm really confident in them. To the right, I have worked on a lot in the month of July and they are getting a lot better. Um, you can see at the moment that I'm stuffing a few up. It's kind of like each day when I start, I've got to do it like at least 10 minutes of shield drop practice just to get the shield drops happening on a consistent basis. But once I get them happening, then they seem to be all right. Uh, when I move into gameplay, then they are harder and I do have to hold shield longer and they tend to be slower. So dude, as I'm recording this, my shield drops are terrible. So that's something I need to keep practicing this month just to keep that skill there. Um, dude, I can't even get any as I'm recording this. That's really sad. Like 20 minutes ago, they were basically near perfect. So that's something that I need to work on. Uh, the other thing is short hopping, which because I use the analog stick to jump, short hopping with a full drift is actually quite difficult. So short hopping, technically I'm there. Like I can do it, I can short hop and full drift, short hop, full drift and aerials. I can even fast forward if I want. Um, but when it goes into gameplay, I really forget to do it. So that's something that I really need to work on there. So that's just really focused in gameplay. I don't know if I'll do much solo practice with that one. The next is crouching wave dashes. So this is really useful against like Marth, Falcon, Sheik because they can't grab you as well as crouch cancelling other moves as well. So I want this to be kind of like my primary form of wave dashing and I also believe that practicing crouching wave dashing means normal wave dashing will just come naturally. Um, so it's kind of a way to learn how to normal wave dash but also crouching wave dash just by learning one thing. So hopefully that will shorten the learning process. So at the moment, it is very slow. It's very clunky. My hand is very stiff when I'm doing it. Um, like my forearm gets really sore. I like grab really tightly around the controller when I do it. Um, it's very hard for me to like turn the right way and do it when I've done it in games. If I'm facing the wrong way and I start wave dashing, I'm kind of just stuck facing that way. So. Yeah, it, it needs a lot of work. This needs a hell of a lot of work to get good. Technically I can do it, but it's just, it's slow, it's clunky, there's no free flow to my movement, and my hand gets really sore after a short period of time. So that's where that's at. That'll be the main thing I'll be practicing this month, as well as just keeping those shield drops fresh and working. And then the next one is wave dash out of shield. So wave dashing forward, wave dashing back out of shield. Wave dashing into crouch as well. Um, wave dash forward into grab. So at the moment, this is something that I can't really do. Like in game, I find it very difficult. I often stuff it up or I'll do like weird aerials like that um, or I'll miss the timing or something like that. So even though I can technically do it, as you can see in the video here, um, in gameplay, it's not something that I can really do. As well, I've recently moved to shielding with the right trigger, so I can wave dash out of shield with the left, which is the trigger that I wave dash with. Um, so it's taking some time to get used to, you know, holding, using the right trigger for shield, instead of just default using the left trigger, and that makes it harder to wave dash out of shield. So that's kind of the four things that I'm focusing on. Um, in terms of my goals for the month, I have a training timetable goal, so I want to do 60 hours of practice this month. So at the moment, I think I'm about three days in, well it's the 4th of August, and I've done about five hours. So I need to do about two hours a day. 
in order to reach this goal. So 60 hours of practice is my goal. Last month it was 50 and I just made it. And the month before that it was 40 and I didn't even make that. So I may make it and maybe too much, we'll see. But that's my goal. Now in terms of rankings as well, I kind of have ranking goals. So if we go ahead and look at me, sorry if it's too small to see on the screen. Maybe I can double tap and zoom in. No. Okay, I don't know how to make that bigger. But basically, I am currently 115th in Australia on the ELO ranking. My goal is to be in the top 100 by the end of the month. So we can see that XB2000, who is better than me, definitely, he's currently got the 99th spot with 1,617 ELO. So that's where I want to be. I did hit it for one week last month, but I want to consistently be in that top 100. So that's my goal at the moment. So I need about 100 more ELO. So um, that's kind of the only goals like I really have for the month. It's really all about the tech practice. It's all about putting in the hours. And then I'm going to be going to tournaments starting next Thursday. Uh, so in about a week's time, I should be going to weekly. So I should get at least three weeklies in in August as well as one monthly. So that should give me enough time to, you know, kind of see where my ELO stands. Um, but yeah, top 100 is my goal for the month. But really my goal is focused on that tech skill. I'll also be doing a bunch of net play, um, but net play I'm more focused on just really implementing the tech skill that I'm doing. So when I net play, I'm trying to do those shield drops. I'm trying to focus on short hopping. Um, as well as doing some crouching wave dashes maybe, but not really yet. Uh, once that gets better, then we'll be looking at that. Um, but yeah, when I net play at the moment, I almost, I was watching a game I played the other day and I basically never short hop at all. So I definitely want to focus more on the short hopping and the shield dropping in net play friendlies. Um, and then if crouching wave dash gets better towards the end of the month, then we'll add that into net play friendlies as well. So that's kind of it for my August goals. So there's those four tech skill things that I'm working on, as well as top 100 in Australia and my goal of 60 hours of practice. All right, so now that we have done that video, which we will upload to YouTube, um, let's go ahead now and see if we can find anyone worthy of netplay.